Hey what's up, Jin here from Code and Quick Tips and today I will show you how to use a Java robot class to simulate keyboard input. To use a robot we will need to define a new robot object. Therefore just type robot and send the name of your robot, I'll call mine robot, equals new robot. You will see that an error occurs because you need to import the robot. Um, another error occurs because the creation of the robot can fail, so we must surround with try catch. Now we are ready to use our robot object to simulate the keyboard input. Therefore, we will call the methods provided by the robot, they call key press and key release. The methods will take a key code. Um, yep, you can either look the key codes up in the internet, or you can, yeah, you can um, use some constants given by the input class. If we just use any, um, yeah, random key code, you will see that yeah, that one isn't known, so it gives me an error. Or you can use the constants as I mentioned. Therefore, you can type key event dot and then you can choose all the constants given. So let's say set one, and then we should be able to um, press the key. But you may notice that this is. Um, yeah, quite useless, I think, because we we'll normally want to type um, some text, and therefore we can just um, give a char instead of an integer to the method, and it will automatically convert it. Um, you must uh, always look that you type in capital letters, because small ones won't work. So if we type in a capital A, it will print out a small a. If we type in a small a, it won't work. So, here we go, it doesn't work. If we now want to write a capital letter in our program or with our program, we need to do it like a normal user will do, would do it, so we can just um, press the uh, shift key. So, key press. And here we can use the constants key event dot shift. And there we go. Now we have pressed the shift key. Before we press our actual um, yeah, character key, and at the end of it, we can release the shift key. Now we should um, print out a letter. And there we go. If you now want to, if you now want to, um, yeah, uh, print out a whole string, you will need to cut it into single chars, and then you will need to print every char at its um, at own. I will give you a um, short demo of a yeah of a code you could may use to print out a string, but you can always create your own method with a. Uh, uh, with the methods that you have learned now. So I will just say I got string with a text, uh, any text, and I want to print it to the screen. Therefore, I will need um, the string in capital letters because we said we will we need um, everything in capital letters. So just say another string, string caps. And there I will save the string in capital letters. To uppercase will convert the string into only capital letters. Now we will need to get our single chars. I will save them in an array and call them chars caps. So I will need an array of chars because I will just cut the string into single chars. Therefore, the uh, therefore, Java provides uh, methods to um, yeah to cast or to to get an array out of a string. 
um, the method is called to char array. Now we can just go through every single um, character with an for loop. So for and i equals zero. i smaller than the char caps dot length. Uh, Charles caps. Okay. There we go. And we will just print out not an static key now, so we will print out our char. So I'll just change the A's here to char caps and the yeah, set one set we want to print out. So press the char and release it again. Now we can print our text out, but it will be always in capital letters or always in small letters, and that's not so good. Therefore, you can use a simple method, create a second char array, where we save our normal string, um, divided in chars. And now we have two char arrays, and we can compare the char caps and the normal chars and if they equal we have not changed them with the to uppercase method and if they don't equal we changed them manually so if they equal we want to write them in capital letters therefore we can just create a simple if statement and say if charles um if the, yeah if charles equals char caps we can press the um, shift button and with the shift button we will write it in capital letters. So if we now start the program, okay, I deleted that. If we now start the program, it will type our text. Yes, yeah, that's it, I think. You can just play around a bit with the method. And I hope you enjoyed. See you next time.